Here's this Corona motor I made um, with a load on it. Now this is an electrostatic motor. It's the Olag uh, Jeffaminko bladed motor that has no contact with the rotor. It just uh, sends out a stream of uh, of uh, electrons, hits the rotor, and it hits the rotor in just such a sequence that it spins it up, and it's got a pretty good torque to it. So here's the load, the little propeller. I'm just running it now off of uh, a 12 volt wall outlet runs just fine. That's the little negative ion generator that puts out the, the thousands of volts. And there it runs the motor, starts right up. And it doesn't make a lot of noise. It, it's a hissing sound, but it's not bad. And um, would make a nice little fan, actually. If I had the correct blade on this, you know, that wasn't blanked out by that piece of wood, now you could make this into a fan and it doesn't draw a lot of energy that the little uh, negative ion generator is only rated at one watt and uh, that spins up that rotor quite nicely and that's a, a 12 volt wall outlet a small one and um, you know these wall outlets that charge 12 volts put out more than 12 volts so i'm not exactly sure what the voltage is coming into this but this uh this worked quite nicely for this this uh, demonstration of the load and um, the motor works quite nicely this is what I was hoping for when I first got involved with building one of these was a motor that that ran at this kind of an RPM and if I if I go ahead and finish this up and enclose it and box it, it it'll be a nice little display item if nothing else uh, the negative ion generator will actually work way on down to about 3 volts, I found out, and run some of the other small electrostatic motors. Now, on this one here, um, you have to have more than 9 volts uh, to really make the motor start working. And then, of course, at 12, it's, it's running up like it's supposed to run. And that's the uh, Corona motor with a load on it. Thanks for watching.